Hi there. Welcome to App Drops, your monthly spotlight on the latest and greatest apps hitting the Webflow marketplace. I'm Vic from the Developer Relations team, and I'm here to walk you through today's overview. I'm excited to show you some tools that will help you get started faster in Webflow. From finding the perfect assets for your sites to integrating with the best platforms to suit your business needs, we'll cover how apps can help you seamlessly add style and functionality to your Webflow site. Today, we're gonna do a deep dive on three fabulous apps that launched in April. The first, Createe. Find the perfect assets for your site right in Webflow. Then, AI SEO Copilot. Get SEO right with an AI helping hand. And lastly, Bookla. Bring powerful booking Webflows right to your site. Let's get started with the demos. So the first app we'll look at today is Createe. Createe is an asset-focused app and that allows us to add animated illustrations, regular illustrations, logos, um, anything we want that we can see in Createe. Uh, you will need a, an account. Uh, you can have a free account or you can have a paid account and you can switch between free and uh, paid images. Uh, I'll go ahead and take a look at my site here. So I created a site with AI Site Gen and I said, make it really bold and funky. Uh, and I really like how it came out, but I do wanna change the imagery to fit more with the vibe that I'm going for. Uh, and the first thing I want to change is the icon in my nav. So I'll go ahead and find that SVG. Oops, <laughs> there we go. And I will go ahead and find an icon that I like by clicking icons in Createe. Let me bring it over here. So we've got a bunch of icons here and I think I want this one. And in Createe, I can uh, change these to uh, match my, uh, my project. So this is a little annoying because uh, it's a little dark right now. So I'll just like lighten it up a little bit. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and add that asset, remove my original SVG. And there we go. I have a nice old uh, new logo in here in my nav. <laughs> More color. Uh, again, now I want to change this here. So I'll go ahead and open up Creative. I think I closed it by mistake. Let's open it up and see what animations we can add. So I will jump into this in my nav, uh, click its kind of wrapper. I can see the animated uh, illustration. I can change the colors if I want to. I like these colors though, so I'll keep them. And I'll press add asset, remove my image, and it's right there. Uh, I'll go ahead and do these for uh, the others. So now we can see this, this is a, uh, the nice thing about AI Sitechain is it made a rotating carousel. So I'll just add this last one um, and we might see some uh, different images, but I just wanted to get you the uh, gist of how to use this and how easy it is to use Createe. So here we go, we can see this. And now, well, what's really cool is because we can see custom code in our preview, I can see what this will look like. So that is pretty cool and pretty quick. Uh, so give it a try, see what images you like, uh, see uh, what you can do for free, what you can do with a paid plan, uh, but just get started quickly. I now have a site that matches way more with what I was looking for, uh, and I didn't have to go outside of Webflow to do it. All right, now that I've got my site looking the way I want it, let's go ahead and make sure people can find it by improving the SEO. And I'm going to use a tool to help me with that called AI SEO Copilot, which is really nice. It'll ask me for a target key phrase, and uh, I'll have to make sure that my site is published so that it can go crawl my site and see what needs help. So it'll say, start optimizing your SEO. It'll do a quick crawl to see uh, what content uh, is in my site, uh, what titles and, and descriptions, meta descriptions, and it'll give me a score. So my score is really low. It's 24. And it says, I need work. I need to put my, uh, and it breaks it up into categories of where I can make optimizations. So it'll say, you need your key phrase in your title, you need an OG and a title description. So let's go ahead and add that. Uh, it'll give me some AI suggestions. So subscribe to our web dev newsletter for the latest hacks. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw that into my page. I'll say in my title, let's do that. Oops, let me give it a, I wanna give it a little bar and then do that. Uh, pull this over so we can kind of go back and forth. I've got it in my, uh, meta description, or I did, uh, but I, I did change it for this. Uh, so I'll go ahead and say, uh, in my, grab my uh, open graph description, 
and add that here. And I will just say, yeah, let's make it the same. All right, I'm going to select an image. There we go, I've added an image. And I'll save these changes. I will publish these changes. All right, so I'll give it a minute and we'll come back to see how our score will change. All right, so we waited a couple minutes. Uh, I just wanted to see and make sure and give it some time. And now we're gonna run this again and see if I got a better score. I didn't change much, so I don't expect grade improvements. And I think where this really shines is some of the content optimization suggestions. Oh wow, I went from 20, 24 to 41, that's pretty good. Um, so there's some uh, content optimization things that I can do here. So key phrase density, key phrase in my introduction, headings and hierarchy uh, that uh, it'll ask you to optimize as well as uh, making sure I have more links. Uh, but I don't I haven't really set this content up on this site yet, so I won't worry about that right now. But use this as a really good pre-flight as a test just to see where your SEO is. It's a free tool, so go ahead and use it. Our last app is a great integration with Bookla. Bookla is a booking platform, and with the new Webflow app, we can now add bookings right to our site. So I'll go ahead and install this to my site, uh, and it'll ask for some data. Uh, and, but what I can do is I can add a, a booking calendar right to my site. Uh, but first, I'll need to do a little bit of setup in Bookla, so let's jump over there. All right, so we're in Bookla, which is a booking management platform, and I wanna walk through some of the concepts so you understand what you're adding to your Webflow site. So Bookla has a concept of companies, so you have a company that can offer different services that are linked to different resources. So I've got two resources uh, that can perform these services, and so I have a full spa day, and Victoria or Lola has a schedule, uh, and they can uh, perform these for a specific price that you can set. Uh, you can even say this is instant booking. Someone might have to uh, need to prepay before they can get the booking, whatever it might be. So there's a lot of things in here uh, that are great for people who require or businesses that require booking. So uh, we'll go ahead and grab some information we're going to need for the Bookla integration. The first thing is an API key. So I will create my API key and say it needs access to some of these resources. I think it probably needs this, let's do this, let's do that, maybe, no, I think we're good, let's do that. So now I can grab this API key and in Bookla add this here. I can then go ahead and uh, grab the company ID from company and add the services ID. So we'll say this is a booking for a full spa day. Uh, and I messed something up. Hold on one second. Let me try again. Full spa day. There we go. And the company ID. All right. Hold, please. Let me see if I messed up with my API key. Let me try um, more scopes. And there are doc there is documentation here. Uh, so, if you want to understand what scopes you have, you can do that, but I think this might be the culprit. Okay. Oh. Let's try that. Okay, so uh, I needed a specific scope, so that's good to know. Uh, now we have uh, the resources, the service, the schedule, uh, as well as the pricing. Really good deal going on at Pofik Pet Grooming. Uh, now let's go ahead and um, change our theme. So I can add a color that I think fits with my site. I can add, update the text. Let's add, update the secondary text to be a little bit more a little darker. Um, let's see. Just make it black for now. Um, okay. And you can uh, update here. Some really cool things, uh, like you can continue and, and test how this form would operate. So here I can have a form. Uh, additionally, I can add custom fields here if I'd like to as well. So let's see, how did I do that? In configuration, go to form. You can add a custom field like your pet's name. And say this is required. We must know your pet's name. Error text, okay, let's say please. Tell us your pet's name. 
Okay. So you can customize this based on what you're booking. Um, if you need to know a little bit inform, inform, more information, uh, again, you can see all the different screens here. So I can say book now. Let's say Miss Victoria Webflow Vic at webflow.com. Uh, pet name Lola. Let's book. All right. So now we can see the confirmation screen, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and even go back to book again. So I think this is ready to put on our canvas. So I have container selected and I have this button here. This is add to canvas. So Bukla has now just added that widget and it's added a script to the canvas as well. So if we go over to our page, we can see that we didn't need to do any copy and paste. Bukla just added that custom code, which I really like that really makes apps pretty seamless and a joy to use. Uh, and now we can go ahead and try to preview our app uh, this is not in preview mode, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and publish it, and then we can see what our our handy-dandy booking platform looks like. So this is great. I can uh, choose the dates. I can choose who I want for my grooming. I can select, give all of that information. Lola, book now. My booking has been confirmed. We can go over to Bukla and see I've got two bookings so far. All right, so I have two bookings. I can look at my bookings here. And so it's all integrated. I didn't need to do much. I've got the extra custom information that I needed. Uh, so this is great. It's a great way to use two services pretty seamlessly. Uh, let me know if there's any more uh, information you'd like to learn about the Bukla platform. They've got a great, um, great guide for anyone looking to get started. So if I go out to their docs, let me see if I can go to their docs. Um, oh, here we go. Um, Bukla Webflow. Um, I can see an overview of how to use this. So this is pretty cool, check it out. Before we wrap up, here are a few more apps worth exploring this month. Event Calendar by AdEvent. Get people to your events by adding customizable calendars and event schedules on your site in seconds. Pro Backup, schedule automated backups of your Webflow site, CMS, and assets. And lastly, Feedback Flow. Gain insights and boost engagements with custom surveys to measure NPS, CSAT, and more. Check them out on the Webflow Marketplace. That's it for this month's App Drop. We're always excited to show off how Webflow's APIs and apps can transform the way you build and manage your sites. And I want to give a huge shout out to every app developer for constantly coming up with great ideas to help our Webflow users. If you have questions about our APIs or ideas for your own app, drop them in the comments below. Our developer relations team is listening and we would love to hear from you. In addition to the apps we covered today, there are over 300 apps in the marketplace that can help with everything from syncing your CMS data with your preferred tools to generating sitemaps and wireframes as you get started with your projects. To see these apps in action, head over to the Webflow Marketplace or open the apps panel in your sidebar. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.